Hello everybody, my name is Bezad. My name is Teresa. And we are here from Naked and Famous Denim and today we've got another brand new jean to tell you all about. It's the brand new, new Frontier Selvage, the latest release part of the Naked and Famous Denim Spring Summer 2023 collection. As always, we're going to take you through all the details. We're going to tell you uh, all the specs, how they came to be, uh, how they're going to fade, some ASMR scratch test stuff, our thoughts and opinions, probably a few other things. We're going to definitely ramble on. So stick around all the way to the end of the video so you'll learn absolutely everything about them. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like our brand, our versions, our rod denim related content. And uh, we're going to hit this little quick intro here. And then Risa's going to get us started off, as always, with the specs. All right. So the new Frontier Salvage is 8.7 ounce lightweight Japanese salvage denim. It is 100% cotton and it is actually unsulfurized denim but has been rinse washed. And this is basically a vintage inspired reproduction type mm -hmm. of denim. And as you can see, it has a very nice vintage blue tone to it. Right. So let's get into the fabrics. So uh, for this one, we kind of took the approach of we wanted a authentically vintage denim mm -hmm. in a summer form, right? Mm -hmm. And the beauty of vintage jeans, like especially early denim, is that it was always under 10 ounces. Mm -hmm. So it, it works well in terms of the durability of the fabric because this was the original workwear fabric, but it also works well for, you know, the heat and the hot summer days. So uh, I, I'm really glad that we could do something like this, but oftentimes when we do these light colors, we samphorized the fabric, mm -hmm. right? And for this, we kept it true, original, and we left it unsamphorized. Mm -hmm. And for those people who don't know what samphorized and unsamphorized is, is that uh, it's basically a finishing process on the denim that removes the shrink from the fabric. So mm -hmm. after the fabric's been woven, it goes through a giant set of hot rollers and fire and water and all this stuff is involved. And it basically compresses the fabric and removes all of the shrink from the fabric uh, so that when you buy your jeans, you don't have to worry about them shrinking down uh, two or three sizes when you first mm -hmm. get them. Back in the early days of denim, that, that was that was the norm. Everybody, you, you bought your jeans, you had to soak them, they shrunk, that was the normal thing. Shrink to fit, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you might've heard that phrase before. Mm -hmm. uh, but with this denim, we left it on Sam Fry's because we wanted, to, wanted it to stay original and true, right. but we know that an un -Sam Fry's fabric can sometimes be a little annoying for the customer. Mm -hmm. So we rinse washed it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we basically just took the jeans, put them in a wash, dried them, done. Something that you would have probably done yourselves at home mm -hmm. uh, when you f would first get an unsamphorized fabric, but we did it for you. That way you don't have to, you know, worry about the guesswork with sizing. Right. And the, I mean, one of the downside, I guess, uh, depending on how you look mm -hmm. at it, but the, the, downside of, of uh, samphorizing denim is that it kind of takes away a little bit of the texture mm -hmm. and uh, hairiness. So yeah. it, it it also goes through a process called singeing. Yes. And it kind of takes out all the hairiness off of the surface of the fabric. So when you look at a lot of regular raw denim, mm -hmm. it's very clean, flat, and hairless. Yeah. Whereas this mm -hmm. one not is this. very yeah. hairy. Very and hairy. It's, it's very textured. For something that is not either slub too slubby or heavy. too heavy mm -hmm. like you see a lot of texture yeah. on this fabric which yeah. is amazing yeah another process that most denim goes through is something called anti-skewing mm -hmm. and this is part of the whole samphorization process mm -hmm. but basically they take the fabric and because most denim well I, anyway, this is the debate about what makes denim denim but anyhow most denim is a directional twill fabric and because it has a, a directional bias it will often twist towards that bias mm -hmm. now this problem was gotten rid of many many decades ago uh through a process called anti-skewing basically it, it the, the machines stretch and pull the fabric and get rid of that twist mm -hmm. now again this denim it didn't go through any of those finishing processes. Right. So the leg, the fabric will twist, creating a leg twist right. on the jean. So yeah. when you get them, they might already be twisted a little bit, mm -hmm. but over time, the fabric will twist towards the bias and that side seam will start to twist a little bit more towards the front of the denim. And you'll notice this if you ever look at like beautiful pictures of like, you know, 100 year old jeans, faded jeans, you'll notice that or on Sam Fry's jeans, you'll notice that side seam twisting in. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, aside from selvage being, you know, the sign of, you know, denim nerdiness, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a, you know, you know, you know, mm -hmm. leg twist is like, if you really know, 
You know, yeah. it's a really, yeah. really nerdy detail. Yeah, I think we've all seen somebody wearing jeans with the, the side seam closer to the front um, on one leg. Right. Usually the left leg. Um, so that's that's going to happen with this. It's already happened a little bit with mm-hmm. this, but uh, continues to happen. So that's kind of like a cute little, you know, yeah. signature right. of this fabric. So um, let's, let's just uh, hear it, yeah. maybe. Let, let's listen to the sounds of this denim. So yeah. 8.7 ounce rinse washed, yeah, 100% cotton denim. Yeah, very soft. Very soft. Wait, let's take a look first. You can see not rigid at all. Yeah, drapes. Got floppiness, very, yeah. Got a, got a lot of flop here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So muffled. Yeah, the fabric really absorbs mm-hmm. all of the sound. That drapiness kind of just absorbs it all. So right. not rigid at all. You can obviously hear that through the sound of yeah. this denim as well. And so another thing I like about rinse wash mm-hmm. denim um, is that the puckering you see yes. in this, uh, you it, know, the sewn part, you see like a little bit of fabric bunching up in places. And that's, the, you know, that happens to all the denim once you wash them. But, you know, when it's something to see when you when you yeah. see it like brand new. And it'll and, also, when it fades, mm-hmm. this area will also like fade at a different rate as well. Right. So it creates its own little unique uh, patina. And speaking of fading, you know, it is a lighter blue Mm -hmm. uh, and it goes from this ocean blue color down to like uh, more of a mid blue and then it works its way down to like a sky blue color. So it does fade quite nicely despite being rinsed and despite being Mm -hmm. light. In fact, because it is a lighter color, you can expect it to get to that sky blue color sooner because there's fewer layers of indigo in this denim to begin with to work your way down. Yeah, you just would not have a very prominent sharp uh, creases. Yes. But I think that's also the beauty of it. It's old school denim. Mm -hmm. You can experience that vintage kind of uh, fade that are just blurred and beautiful. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so that's what you can look forward to. So there you have it. Okay, now uh, let's get into some of the details of Mm -hmm. this denim. Uh, The first thing you will notice is the leather patch. And in fact, it is not leather but uh, it is a cardboard, we call it Durango patch. It wears and ages like leather to to a degree, obviously not like fully like leather, but mm-hmm. uh, it will crack, it will wear, it will patina. So it's often used in a lot of jeans and uh, I like using it on some of our more vintage style mm-hmm. denim and we've got it here as well. We've got uh, the contrast stitching, which is uh, quite noticeable here with that you know bright kind of yellow. I think it really matches the, the brightness of the blue quite mm-hmm. nicely. Uh, our classic hardware here with the Je t'adore tout nu on the silver metallic uh, rivets and naked and famous denim here on the buttons. We've got that white weft on the inside that contrasts really nicely with the blue. It shows through on the front face of the fabric. Obviously when you cuff it, you've got that classic look and then you've got that beautiful all white selvage ID. You really see this type of selvage ID in the earliest denims. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, in the, the early 1900, late 1800 denim, it was all white. There were no color codes in these things. And uh, I, I really, really like that detail a lot. Hey there, editor Bayzad here. So we kind of ended up using two different selvage IDs for these jeans. We made two batches of the fabric, and since there were some slight dye variances between them, we didn't want to mix them up. That's why one version has a classic red line and the other one is all white. The all-white selvage ID you'll mostly find in the Strong Guy production, while the rest of the production uses the red line selvage ID. Okay, back to the video. I might I might use it some more. Uh, down yeah, the this is a yeah. very good look. It's, yeah. it's very visible yeah. and clean. You know, just rant time, Bezad. Just I, I think this is a new segment of, uh, of these videos. I remember um, one time I was at a, uh, we were doing a sample sale, mm-hmm. and a lady came up to me and she asked me for red line selvage. And I showed her some of the selvage options that we had. You know, we, we might have had some red, uh, you know, red ticker uh, mm-hmm. selvage, but uh, I was showing her other stuff and she was like, no, just no. I don't want any of this other stuff. If it's not red, it's not the real deal. And mm-hmm. I don't know how red became, well, I guess I do know, mm-hmm. but uh, red kind of became the icon. Yeah. But selvages can be in so many different, you know, colors and patterns. And I really like to, to mm-hmm. show that off. Yeah. Red is obviously classic, but. Yeah. The, more, the more the merrier. I think we can enjoy a lot of different uh, details on that, on that little piece of fabric. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. 
Uh, now, with that all said, uh, these jeans are going to be available in a variety of fits. In mm -hmm. the men, we've got the super guy, we've got the weird guy, we've got the easy guy. We also have the classic wide straight leg, so very, very vintage style, uh, strong guy option. Right. In the ladies, we've got the classic fit, mm -hmm. uh, which is a wider straight leg, and also arrow, which is a slimmer straight mm -hmm. leg. And on top of that, we're doing a uh, straight leg overall. Yeah. So that is like a higher rise straight leg um, overalls, which yeah. I'm very excited yeah. about. This is a perfect fabric. Yeah. Like, a, like a workwear style fit with a mm -hmm. vintage style denim. I think it's a perfect match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm, I think I'm out of things to say. <laughs> all right. That's Let's impossible. That's it. That's almost impossible. But uh, okay. So with that all said, again, uh, if you if we forgot anything, or if there's something you'd like to know more about, you can hit us up in the comments section below. We can continue the conversation on there, or we can con continue the conversation on our weekly live stream right here on YouTube, 7 p.m. Eastern every Friday. We answer your questions live. We show off new product. We preview all kinds of stuff that you may not have seen before if you're if you're not a regular viewer. So uh, you definitely want to join us for that. And uh, with all of that said, we're going to wrap things up. That's us wrapping it up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.